Eli Lilly's new drug is called Redditrutide. When we saw how they worked in our preclinical studies and then how when we saw how it worked in, in patients for the first time, uh, we knew we were on the verge of, of a breakthrough. Unlike FDA-approved drugs Ozempic for diabetes and Wagovi for weight loss, which harness one hormone to control eating, according to Eli Lilly, Redditrutide harnesses three. We think that a medicine like this could someday offer the same levels of weight loss that you can see with bariatric surgery. In Redditrutide's second clinical trial, patients with obesity lost up to 17.5 percent of their body weight, more than 40 pounds in 24 weeks, nearly 60 pounds in 48 weeks. Jacynthia Jesse weighed close to 300 pounds before taking part in the trial. It has been a roller coaster ride for many of my adult years. While some participants were given a placebo, she believes she got the real injection, dropping 60 pounds. Having to put on clothes and realize that this is not my size anymore. Like, I literally have to go to the Goodwill, uh, give these away. That was just life-changing to me. Testing is in its early stages. A submission for FDA approval is years away. But Eli Lilly is hopeful it will get FDA approval for a different drug this year, the weight loss version of its approved diabetes medicine, Monjaro. There are analysts who say it'll be the most lucrative drug ever made. Hyperbole? Probably, yes. I, you know, I, I think at Lilly, we, we try not to focus too much on which drugs are going to be really big sellers. What we try and focus on is, are we making medicines that treat a, a deep unmet medical need? Eli Lilly is not alone in its push to research new drugs. Other pharmaceutical companies are doing the same. While obesity doctors say the medications that are on the market have already changed lives. It's been transformative, to say the least. I think it's given so many people hope that felt sort of helpless in this um, fight against the disease of obesity. The next step will be getting the medication in pill form, which Eli Lilly is working on. Easier to make and easier for people to access. We hope that obesity will be something that we can um, reverse for the majority of patients. And in doing so, it's not just about how they look or how they feel. It's for patients, it's really, uh, we believe, a change in their overall health. I mean, targeting obesity, obviously, is yeah. so important for lifestyle. I think a lot of people who see these drugs are thinking, well, I want to drop some pounds, too. Can that work for me? That is not what these drugs are being approved okay. for. There's only one weight loss drug on the market. Eli Lilly has a couple that they hope to get approved. They are specifically for people struggling with obesity, and those are the people who are in these trials. It is not people just looking to shed a couple pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of weight loss topics, there was another study out. This one had to do with intermittent fasting oh, yeah. Yeah. versus just traditional calorie counting, mm -hmm. which, which, is which diet like, is which better? One's better? Yeah. Which one's better? So this is out of the University of Illinois, and it might be good news for people who don't like to calorie count, and it's, it showed that intermittent fasting, so not eating between, in this case, the hours of 12 and 8, is mm -hmm. just as effective. You lose as many calories as calorie counting. So wait, 12 and 8, meaning noon to noon 8 p.m.? Noon to 8 p.m. So you're not eating during that whole time? No, you are, are you eating. Are you eating. Okay. That's Okay. You can only eat it. them. I don't know. I'm a breakfast person. I don't think I do that. <laughs> See, I, yeah. Yeah. It's a basically like skipping breakfast. <laughs> okay, skipping breakfast. And then not yeah. eating before you go to bed. Right. Maybe okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Know. That's a big one. That'll All right. Do it. All right. Steph, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.